This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. This is the debut issue of Desktop Engineering's MCAT News Video Edition. Every month, I hope to include a video report like this, produced to complement the email newsletter coming to you. Earlier this month, I had a chance to meet the developers from Autodesk Manufacturing Solutions Division. I had hoped I'd get a chance to hear more about Autodesk Inventor Fusion, Autodesk's answer to the recent rush to combine history-based modeling and direct modeling. But no news on Fusion yet, I'm afraid. I did get a chance to test drive Autodesk Inventor Professional 2010, so here are some of the highlights. Remember those acquisitions Autodesk did in the last several years? Plasotech, Moleflow, and Elgo are the three notable ones. When in the new incarnation of Inventor, you see the digital DNA of these products. We're now in the analysis environment. If you are new to analysis, the sequential order of the ribbon bar menu arrangement will guide you through the process. Here we define one point on this part as fixed on a pin. Then define the materials. The material style editor lets you change the parameters to get more accurate results. But in this case, I'll just go with the default values that come with the database. Then I'll apply a force on the surface coming down from the top. Then you match the part. Now all that's left is to run the analysis. The other new addition is this dynamic assembly simulation. As you can see, this feature lets you define the type of joints involved, then observe how the mechanism works. It's a useful feature to find part collisions of fixed problems before production. This is an example showing how a windshield wiper assembly's physical motions are simulated. The other feature I like is the quick rendering and animation environment called the studio. You simply take a part or an assembly, apply several preset lightings and backdrop, then hit render. The Plastic Parts tool gives you a way to quickly create standard plastic parts features using a series of templates. The other new addition is AEC Exchange. That lets you export an Inventor mechanical assembly as a building component, compatible with Autodesk Revit. So if you routinely work on air ducts, plumbing, or mechanical system that will eventually end up inside a home, this will help you work closely with an architect using Revit. Well, there is a lot more. But judging from these enhancements, I'd say Autodesk Inventor Professional 2010 does a great job integrating many of the company's previous acquisitions. By the way, if you have a burning question, not the existential kind like what's my purpose in life, but some nagging questions about corporate culture, manufacturing practices, or new technology in the market, Desktop Engineering's Tony Lockwood is happy to take your questions. You'll find a link to his blog at Desktop Engineering's homepage, www.deskeng.com. Now, my burning question for the day is, what should I have for lunch? Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering.